Okay, my heroes today will continue with the third lesson in topic 8, generate equivalent fractions, and we will do this through multiplication. What we will do by the end of this session, we will be able to solve questions like questions number 14 to 21, write two equivalent fractions for each given fraction. We have a fraction here in question number 14, 1 tenth, and we need two equivalent fractions to this fraction. Of course, we will use multiplication. And before we, st before we start, my heroes, I want to remind you about the main idea about this lesson. Okay, so I will use this plank, plank page, so I can explain to you the main idea again. Please focus with me and do not use your mics unless I call you. Okay. Okay, of course we know from before that we may have more than one uh, equivalent fraction to each fraction. For example, if we have a fraction like this one, we read this fraction, 3 fourths. And again, my heroes, the number in the top we call it numerator, and the number down called denominator. And this fraction represents three parts out of four total parts. Okay, now I need another fraction equivalent to this fraction, and I will put here um, I'll put a condition that the denominator should be 20. Okay, let's see what we should do to find the numerator here in the top. What number should we use in the numerator? Okay, how we think, my heroes? We think that we need to multiply this fraction, 3 fourths, by whole 1. And we have very, very important note, which is whole 1 is equal to 2 halves and also 3 thirds, 4 fourths, 5 fifths, and so on. So, if I want to multiply any number by 1, I may multiply by a fraction in which the numerator and the denominator is the same number. For example, I want here to multiply 4 by a number to get 20. So, what number should I multiply 4 by to get 20? My heroes, help me. What am I multiplying 4 by to get 20? I am Ali Harfi. Yes, Ali? No, it is 5. Yes, we should multiply by 5. Okay, now my heroes, this is very important. If I multiply the denominator down by 5, what number should, uh, should I multiply the numerator by? Saleh. Saleh? Nadir. Five. Five also. So, my heroes, we should multiply by the same number, the numerator and the denominator. So, we should here multiply also by five. When we multiply three by five, it will be 15. So, in the numerator here, we should write 15. I will erase this square and... I will write 15 here. So that's how to solve such, uh, such questions. And let's see another one. What about, okay, let's use another color, five sectors. And we have in the numerator 10 and down in the denominator, we need the denominator, the number in the denominator. So, how to thank my heroes? We should multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. What number are we multiplying by to get 10? We have 5 and... Two. Yes, of course. We multiplied the 5 by 2. So, do the same for the denominator. Or simply, we can write this in another way. We can write this also like this. Multiply by... Multiply the fraction by... Two halves. It's the same. So we have many ways to write this, and I prefer to write it 
the numerator alone and the denominator alone because I don't have space for writing by two halves. So I can write this and this is better for me to understand that I did this for the numerator. So do the same for the denominator also. 6 times 2 equals, of course, Teacher, Miss Al. Well. Well. Okay. Let's take another example. Now I have this fraction. Okay, let's write it correctly. I, I want to write it again. This is one half. And I need a fraction equivalent to one half. And I don't give you anything. I didn't give you anything. I didn't give you the numerator or the denominator. Just I give you a fraction and I want you to find the fraction. In this case, my heroes, this is very simple. Think of any number and use it. Okay, let's try any number. For example, what about 3? Let's try the 3. How to try the 3? Try 3 thirds multiply by 3 both numerator and denominator if you multiply 1 by 3 it will be 3 and 2 multiplied by 3 it will be 6 okay let's do this again with another number and I will continue with the same line so I will do like that I write here that I need another fraction so we can use another number what about using 10 so multiply the 1 by 10 and the 2 by 10 1 times 10 is 10 and 2 times 10 is 20 so it's 10 over 20 okay let's try it again and this time I will not require another fraction I will require many fractions okay I will ask you for many fractions so what about doing it like this I need more more fractions and all these fractions are equivalent to one half so let's do the same and every time use another number. I need one of my heroes to help. Karar. Yeah. Okay, Karar, yes. help me. Give me a number to multiply one half by. Multiply the numerator and the denominator of one half. Uh, uh, four. And uh, what again? I mean, uh, 20 okay, and so 40. you want to multiply by 20, right? Okay, in this case, the yeah. numerator in the top will be when you multiply by 20, it will be 20, and down when you multiply by 20, it will be. 40. Excellent. 40. Thank you, Karar. Okay, let's erase this. And I need another fraction. And as I told you, as I told you my heroes, I didn't give you uh, anything to follow. So you can choose any number you want and multiply by. Can I can answer? Okay, Tamer. Go ahead. Yeah. 40. And, and what number are you multiplying by? By 40? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you said that 1 times 40 is 40? And 20. And what is 2 times 40? It's not 60. No, no, 2 times 4 is not 6. My hero 2 times 4 is not 6. It's 8. Thamer, are you here? 
Okay, continue, Tamer. Yes. So two times forty equals. Sixteen. Sixteen. Four six. No, Tamer. Two times four is not six. I told you it's not six. It's eight. You need to keep the table, Tamer. So it should be eight. Okay, Tamer, thank you. Okay, I, I have a problem here. Why are you using big numbers? You can use seven, five, two, small numbers. Why are you using very, very large numbers? Abdullah Notebi. Okay, help yes, me, my girl. teacher. Teacher, I just joined because my okay, Wi-Fi... Okay, Abdullah, no problems. I need you to give me a number to multiply one half by oh. the one and the two by the same number. The numerator in the top and the denominator okay. down, multiply them by the same number. Say any number. Give any number. Okay, um, so we five, are multiplying now 15. by... Five fifths. Okay, five. one times five equals. Yeah. In the top. One times uh, equal. Um, five. Uh, okay, and down here five. we have two. Two times five equals. Yes. Equals. Oh, what? Fourteen. Two times five. No, no. Two times five. Uh. Uh, seven. My hero, this is not plus. Yeah. Uh, Two yeah, times five. Two multiplied by five. Plus. Two multiplied by five. Uh, uh, I, I think ten. Okay, there is no need to think. It's ten. But my hero, please check the timetable. And everyone, please check the timetable. You cannot solve questions yes. without keeping the timetable. Teacher, I already know. Okay, Abdullah, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Teacher, I already know the timetable. Okay, Salma. Um, okay, my heroes now. Let's go back to the book. No, no, this one. Yes, this one. And we will start with question number eight. And in, the, in this question, question number eight, we have area models. And also, we have the fractions. So... We can use both to find the correct answer. It's uh, done by anyway, so I will choose one of my heroes to help me. Ali Zakaria. Ali Zakaria. Hussein. Hussein Hamad. Ibrahim Osama Ibrahim Ibrahim Osama Okay Ibrahim help me with the first question question number 8 So it's very easy multiply the numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator go ahead 2 times 2 and Three times two. Okay. Times two, Using six. the models, it's very easy also. We, we divided each one big part into two smaller parts. So, in the first fraction, we have two out of three. And in the second model, we have four small parts out of six small parts. Okay, thank you, Ibrahim. Mandy. Yeah. 
Go ahead. Yes. The next one. Um, three times two, six. And six times two, the part, twelve. Thank you. Again. Al Qattan, this is Rakan. Yes. Okay, Rakan, go ahead. Yes. Uh, Where's seven, seven times four. Uh, uh, we are solving uh, question uh, number ten. Double blind. So, uh, what number to multiply five by to get ten? Five times what number gets ten? Uh, but what? Uh, so I should write here in two. the square two. And now, what should I write in the square in the top here? Uh, five? five. No, you should write the same like the denominators two also, because you should multiply by the same number. Okay, now multiply 1 by 2, it will be? 1 by 2. 1 times 2 it's equals two. 2. Thank you, my hero. Ali Zakaria. Okay, yeah. Ali. In the next one, 4 multiplied by what number gives 100? Ten. What? Ten? No, ten. four times ten is forty. I thought that we know this from before. Four times twenty-five equals one hundred. So you should multiply by twenty-five, both numerator and denominator. Now we need to multiply the 5 by 25. Okay, help me, my hero. 5 times 5. 5 times 20, 5 equals 15. 25. 2 times 4 is equal what? 20. Yes, plus it 2. Plus 10. We have 2 here. Plus 2. 12. What? 12. 12. Okay, 12. so it's 125 over 100. Okay, thank you, Ali. Great work. And let's move to the next one. Abdul Aziz Maher. Abdul Aziz Maher. Muhammad Zaki. Muhammad Zaki. Go ahead, Muhammad. Okay, go ahead. Four times what number gives twelve? What should I write here? Four times what number gives twelve? Answer me. Yes, so I should write here three. And in the top here, what I should multiply by? I should write the same number, right? So it's also three. Yeah. Okay, now 7 multiplied by 3 equals. Yes, thank you, Muhammad. Great work. You are a hero. And let's move to the next one. Daniel. Daniel Aisa.
اوكي علي الغافلي Yes, teacher. Okay, Ali. Now we have in the numerator nine. What should you multiply three by to get nine? What should I write here? Three. Yes. So I will multiply. Three. I will multiply by three, three. in the numerator and, and the and denominator. And okay. Now four times three equals. Yes. Excellent. Wow. Four. I like my heroes. Great work, Ali. Okay, my heroes. Any problems? Any questions? Please write the answer quickly. And now we will move to the next question. Question 14. Salman? Yes, teacher. In this question, yes, teacher. my hero, we need to write two equivalent fractions for each given fraction. And it's up to you to choose the numbers that you will multiply by. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna okay, do. Okay. If we do by, by two. two, so it will be. Two. Two uh, and. How, what? Two. In the denominator, what number? Ten times two equals. Ten times two right. equals. Okay. I 20. need another fraction. Because we need two equivalent fractions. Another. Multiply by what? Multiply, multiply by again? two. It will give you two over twenty I mean again. Twenty. It's the same fraction. Choose another number. Um, three. Okay, wait, if we multiply three, by three. The numerator will be one times three. One times three equals three, and ten times Excellent. three equals Read thirty. Excellent. Read Salman. You are a hero. Okay, my heroes. Let's move to the next one. Yusuf. Yusuf Abdul Baki. Um, how, okay, my that? hero, go to go to the next question. Solve it. Four over two. You can multiply number by any number. Three. Choose any number to multiply by. Um, I want okay. to multiply by two. Okay, the numerator and the denominator. Okay, do not forget. In the top, four times two. In the top four times and down, two equals two. eight. Two times two. Choose two another number because we four. need another fraction. Um. Any number, my hero, quickly. What about ten? Uh, ten. Okay, um, go ahead. Ten, okay. Mm, ten. Mm, yes, it will be. For the four. And in the denominator, 14. down. 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 Um. In the denominator, denominator it will be two times 11. ten. Teacher, I have twenty. It works. Thank you. Time two. Ali, are you speaking without permission? Do you have any problems, Ali Saleh? Yes, uh, no, but I want to ask okay, you a question. Ali, ask. But next time, Ali, please do not interrupt us. You can wait until uh, we finish the question, okay. then ask. Uh, let's, think that, let's think that it's uh, times two and times three. I have to no, write you, you it don't or have not. To write it. Okay, Ali is asking me about what I am okay, writing here. Okay, there is no need to write these. I'm writing them because just I want you to know what we are doing. But in fact, there is no need. Just write the fractions. Okay, thank you, Ali. Yes? I, this is Muhammad Khan. I was thinking about the answer, the first one, the first fraction, 8 out of 4, and it turned out correct. 
So then I didn't want to interrupt you, but I thought the second answer would be 14 uh, and for 12. For which one? For the second fraction in question 15. Okay, you, you have another fraction equivalent to 4 over 2, right? Yeah, yeah 14 out of okay, 12. Okay, no, this is not equivalent. What number are you multiplying by? You should think of the number that you are multiplying Four. by. So your answer is wrong. Okay. Mister, do you see my name online? Like what do you want? Do you like, I don't like the, this question. Just uh, listen. My mom. Not everyone can ask me this question. Because we will waste the time without okay. any need to do this. Abdurrahman Anwar. Abdurrahman Anwar. Teacher, catch what? Uh, who's asking? Rakan? Rakan, you are a hero. And yeah. now you are asking about the page. We've finished solving the page and you are asking about the page. Rakan, tell me the page. Rakan, answer me. What page is this? Yes. Yes. But, but I have the book and the last page Okay, is this is not the old book, it's the new book. I said this before. We discussed this before. I told you before that we have a new book for the second semester. Okay, Rakan? Ahmed Sarheed? Okay, Ahmed? Here. Next one. Okay, let's multiply by two. Okay, five multiplied by two equals. And down, six multiplied by two. Okay, another number, let's multiply by three. Okay, five. Of course, you can choose any number other than two and three. But you should multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. And down, 6 multiplied by 3. Great work, Ahmed. You are a hero. Okay, my heroes, I think now you know how to solve all the questions. I think it's easy for you to continue and complete them. Now, my heroes, I will stop sharing my screen and I will send to you the link of the game. Any questions? Mr. This is very easy. You didn't finish what writing? Mr. Okay, quickly, yeah, my doctor. hero. You have you have thirty Mister. seconds to finish. Mr. This is Mr. Okay, you'll chat. send the picture, the snapshot, uh, the snapshot. Okay, thank you, Ali. Yes. Yes, Abdul Aziz. This is uh, okay. I'll very just solve easy. the next one. Seventeen. Abdullah. <laughs> Abdullah Aziz. I solved it. Okay, give me the answer. I solved second. it. Uh, three. Excellent. Over nine. Um, uh, equal. Four Excellent! Wow. Over twelve. I like your answer, Abdul Aziz. And of course, my heroes, you may write any Thank other you. answer also. Okay. Now I will stop sharing my screen, and I will send to you the link of the game. 